Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on adding integers. Our first key concept is adding integers with the same sign. To add integers with the same sign, add their absolute values. The sum is positive if both integers are positive and negative if both integers are negative. For example, 8 plus 1, which you've done for a while, is 9. Negative 2 plus negative 4 well, just 2 plus 4, but it's going to be negative 6 since both signs are negative. If we look at example 1a, 3 plus 5, well, no mystery here, I hope. 3 plus 5 is 8. And we look at negative 3 plus negative 5, they're both negative, so this is going to be negative 8. A couple more examples of these. Negative 5 plus negative 4, both integers are negative, and we're adding, so just add them up. 5 plus 4 is 9, but since both are negative, it's negative 9. And of course, as we just said, 5 plus 4, for example, 2b is 9. Our second key concept is to add integers with different signs. One positive, one negative. So to add integers with different signs, subtract their absolute values. Now the sum is going to be positive if the positive integer's absolute value is greater, and negative if the negative integer's absolute value is greater. So if we look at our examples here in the box, 9 plus negative 4, when we take a peek at their absolute values, the absolute value of 9 is 9. The absolute value of negative 4 is a positive 4. And then we look at which number is bigger. Well, that's the 9. Now, the sum is positive if the positive integer's absolute value is greater, and that's the case here. So we're just going to subtract those and get 5, and our answer is going to remain positive. Compare that to negative 9 plus 4, and again, if we look at the absolute values, it's again 9 and 4. However, this time, with the 9 being larger than the 4, the sign of our answer is going to be negative. So 9 minus 4 does equal 5, but again, our answer is going to be negative since the negative integer's absolute value is greater here. Let's take a look at our examples. Example 3a, 7 plus negative 11. Well, the absolute value of 7 is 7. The absolute value of negative 11 is positive 11. Which is larger? Well, 11. So our answer is going to be negative. When we subtract 11 minus 7, we get 4. And our answer is going to be negative. Negative 4. What about negative 2 plus 9? Well, our absolute values are 2 and 9, and this time our 9 is larger. That represents the positive number, so our answer is going to be positive. We can take the 9 minus 2 to get 7, and it's going to remain a positive 7. So it comes down to looking at the absolute value of both integers, determine which one is larger, and the larger absolute value will tell you whether your sign is going to be positive or negative. So now, negative 9 plus 10. Well, which one of these has the larger absolute value? That's going to be the 10. And then when we look at just 10 minus 9, that's 1 which is our answer, positive 1. And 8 plus negative 15, which one has the larger absolute value? This time it's the negative, the f negative 15. We can just look at 15 minus 8 is 7. However, it's going to be a negative 7, since it, negative 15 was the larger absolute value. Now into our word problem. 
On February 1st, the temperature at dawn was negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit. By noon, it had risen 19 degrees. Write an addition equation and then solve. Interpret the sum. Well, if it was negative 22 degrees and the temperature increased 19 degrees, we can add these two numbers together and come up with a sum. Is our answer going to be positive or negative? Well, the absolute value of negative 22 is larger than the absolute value of 19, so our answer is going to be negative. And we can kind of just do 22 minus 19, and the more you do these, you might get the hang of it and be able to do it in your head, but for right now, 22 minus 19 is 3, and our answer is going to remain negative. So negative 3 is our sum. We're asked to interpret, and so we can say the temperature at noon was negative 3 degrees Fahrenheit. Because if it was negative 22 degrees at dawn, and it increased or rose 19 degrees, we added those up to get negative 3, which is our current temperature at noon. And into our last example, we have the additive inverse property. The sum of any number and its additive inverse is 0. So 2 plus negative 2 equals 0. A plus negative A equals 0. And this can come in handy in solving some integer questions. For example, with 6A, negative 8 plus negative 4 plus 8. Well, if I just rewrite this, negative 8 plus 8, using that commutative property of addition, plus negative 4. When I look at this negative 8 plus 8, using the additive inverse property, that's just 0 plus negative 4, which is just negative 4. So the additive, additive inverse property allows us to reorder and determine, can we, in a way, cancel things out? Well, negative 8 plus 8 is 0, which just leaves us with the negative 4. A little bit easier than going negative 8 plus negative 4 is, okay, negative 12 plus 8 is negative 4. The idea is to make it a little bit easier. Now, as we get into example B, 6 plus negative 3 plus negative 9 plus 8, there really isn't much we can do with the additive inverse property here. But with these four integers, what I would do is group the positive integers and group the negative integers. Then worry about doing the positives and negatives. So we have 6 plus 8 being our positive integers, plus negative 3 plus negative 9 being our negative integers. Well, when the integers are the same signs, you just kind of add them. 6 plus 8 is 14 plus the negative 3 plus negative 9, just 9 plus 3 is 12, but keep it negative, negative 12. And now that we're at different signs, which value, 14 or negative 12, has the greatest absolute value? Well, that's the 14. And if we just do 14 minus 12 is 2, our answer is a positive 2. And that's it for this crash course into adding integers. Good luck.